Hey, what's up everyone? Uh, great day here in San Diego, California. We work on some attacks from the back. So a sneaky way for you to set up chokes from the back, okay? And also attack your opponents from the turtle position. Check out our technique and comment below so I will, I will answer all the, the questions, okay? Take care. Os. So <clears throat> this situation is very common, okay? So when you're in the turtle position, right, ready to attack your opponents. So that, there'll be like a lot of uh, situations in the fight that will bring you here, okay? Like passing the guard, trying to sweep, okay? Especially trying to pass the guard, like your opponent will turtle like this. So you gotta be ready to attack the back, okay? So a lot of times your opponent will be here like defending and that there'll be like two reactions for him to defend his back, okay? The first reaction is trying to face to me and put on guard, face to me. And, like he's gonna try to face to me like this and then he's gonna try to put on half guard, okay? Or close guard, he wants to face me. Or he's gonna try to face away from me. He's gonna roll outside and try to dig his butt between, you see my body, my arm and leg here. Okay, so once I'm on top of his hamstring, so I'm on his guard, okay? So my goal is to always be behind his back here. When he tried to roll like this, I must be like blocking him. Because if I let his butt go like this, his lower back touch the floor, he's gonna start putting guard. Then he's gonna escape the hips, get the lasso, then I can end up like losing the position, okay? I can also try to get the side control. Let's say when he start to roll, roll, and let's say like this, and then I can, I can decide like to not get in the back and be on the side control, but I'm not gonna score my three points, okay? If I'm fighting a tournament, especially IBJJF, once you are on the turtle here, there's no longer guard, so that's no points if you get the side control, just to let you know, okay? So let's say if he rolls and I get the side control here, okay? I like to underhook and then force him to go give me the back and then I start taking him the back again, okay? If I want to take his back. Or I can change for a submission from side control, okay? Or make a transition to mount, all right? <clears throat> so um, you gotta identify like who you're fighting. Sometimes you're fighting a flexible opponent, sometimes you're fighting a stiff opponent, okay? Someone that doesn't have a lot of flexibility, okay? Usually guys that doesn't have flexibility, the way they escape, they face to you. That's how they do. They face like this, right? So if you, if you, if you are this person like, who doesn't have a lot of flexibility, you gotta notice that that's the way you try to defend when you're a turtle. Because you don't feel comfortable like rolling. But if you are flexible, you're gonna start like uh, stacking yourself like this. And this is actually the best way to defend because the end is putting his back on the floor. Now he's hiding his back from me, you see? So now my chest is far from his back, okay? On the first, uh, the first occasion here when he tried to face me, my chest is always on his back, you see, okay? But notice that when he's facing to me, we're gonna work on this first. When he's facing to me, he's gonna always try to trap my leg here, near side leg, okay? If he traps his leg here, it's gonna be hard for, him, for me to move and keep him between my legs. So I need to hide his leg, go back. So when I'm here, I can get the seat belt, okay? Or I can control the, the collar like this. So if I have like a longer arm, I feel like I can get uh, the seat belt like this in a very comfortable way. If I have short arm, I, I suggest you to go like this, okay, if you have a short arm. Okay, this is a good grip, okay? So when your opponent is trying to trap your leg, you need to hide this leg, okay? So it's a must like to hide this leg here. Because you want to hop over him and then setting up this hook first, okay? With the seat belt locked right here, the way it's gonna work is like this. First, I need to have this legs uh, up. I cannot be like this, okay? If I'm not doing anything, okay? So if I'm just like chilling here, I need to be like this. So here I can go for the neck, okay? I can open his arm, get the arm trap, go for crucifix, okay? Um, I can go for guillotines too. Keep more traps and other things, okay? But the way you're gonna work today is like this. So I'm gonna get the seatbelt here, okay? And my opponent tried to face to me. I'm gonna put my forehead on the floor, face to me. He's gonna drop his hips on the floor all the way, trying to chase my leg, okay, my near side leg. So I cannot let him also turn around. I cannot let him like control my leg with his arm as well. Because then I cannot go to the other side. Okay, I need to. Extend my leg and stay with my leg far from him. Just like in a tripod position here, using my head on the floor. 
okay? Now I'm gonna hop over my opponent and my right knee goes and shovel under his, his hip, okay? And then I'm gonna put this hook first, my left leg, like this, and roll, okay? And I roll all the way until my, my first hook goes on bottom, which is my left leg here, okay? So I cannot stop here. If I stop here, he's gonna put on half guard. Then he's gonna underhook my leg and gonna be on the deep half. Okay, I need to bring him all the way here. Okay, so once I'm here, usually he's gonna try to turn to me. Okay, so I need to underhook this leg here. Okay, and then control him like this. Notice that my calf is over his hip. Okay, so it's a very simple way for me to attack his back. So once I'm here now, it's a time for me to start uh, choking. Okay, so we're gonna learn like two ways to choke our opponents. I can grab the collar right here, just like control his collar, and go for the choke from here. Lifting my elbow, okay? Lifting actually my shoulder off the mat. Taking my shoulder off the mat like this. Don't try to extend your arm because then he's gonna duck under your arm. So keep the back of your shoulder, uh, the back of the shoulder, no, the, the front of your shoulder here, on the back of his head right here, right behind his neck, like this, okay? That's how you choke him. Now you just keep pulling until he taps, okay? And of course, in the, in the, uh, in the middle of the technique here, while you're trying to choke him, you, you can set up the, the other hook, okay? So I prefer to attack the neck first before getting the, the second hook, okay? Because if you're very concerned about just putting the hook here, he's gonna keep like holding the legs, okay? And if he's worried about the leg here, I can always like control the collar. Then I got both collars, you see? Now I lift myself up like this. Then I get the hook. The second way I'm gonna choke him is when my opponent is trying to face to me. The other way, yeah, he's gonna try to face to me like this. So what I'm gonna do, I can keep this under hook right here. You see the top leg under hook his leg just to control him. And now I go with this hand right here under his neck and I control four fingers. I gotta control four fingers here, inside my sleeve, and then I go for the Ezekiel. Okay, this is a great way for you to choke your opponent. You see? So first, I will keep this control here. I don't like to do this when I'm, when I'm with both hooks in. Because if, uh, if I go and try to, go, uh, try to get the, the Ezekiel, he can turn to me really fast, you see? Now I can try to go to mount, and when I try to go to mount, you can probably like put on the X guard or put on the half guard, and I'll end up like on top of this guard right here, okay? So just for a better control right here, okay? You keep this hook like this. I prefer this than both hooks in. Both hooks in is just to give you points, okay? Then you go back here. This is a better control. Try to turn to me and in the middle of time, like he's trying to turn to me, I start digging my arm underneath of his neck. And look, you see that I put my palm towards the floor, okay, of my hand, like this, all right? So that's the way I'm gonna control four fingers on the sleeve, always facing your hand down. Face your hand like this, actually, towards the mat. Don't turn your hand like this, sideways, because then you're gonna hurt your wrist. Okay, keep your hand facing down here. So four fingers, okay? Four fingers, not two fingers, three fingers, all four fingers in their, inside their sleeve. You're gonna choke him with the, the forearm that's under his neck, okay? So actually my right hand is the one that's gonna choke him. It's not this handy, a lot of times when I teach this, people think that they need to put this hand on the throw. It's not this hand that's gonna choke. This hand is just gonna give us support, just frame here, okay? So you go here, then you get like this. And it's hard for him to defend this choke as well. Sometimes like you try to get the collar, he's doing a really good job like controlling your hand and you can't get the collar. You just pass the hand here, look. Under, come up, control four fingers. Elbow on the floor, you see that I put my elbow on the floor here. See, I'm not doing like this, okay? So I go with my elbow on the floor, so then I, I'm here. So once I'm here, controlling him, I'm gonna bring him to me and then I'll shrug especially my right side, the side that's under his neck, and I choke him. In the middle of the, the choke, 
I can put the hooks in if I didn't score the points yet. This is a great way for you to score the points as well because you can put this hand down right now to block the hook, you see? So it's easier for you to get the hook. Okay? And it's also so hard for him to escape from the back. Quite the end, don't sleep. <laughs> okay? So again, so I'm here. I'm I like to control the far side collar here. And the reason that I do it, I don't control this side. I feel like if you turn, he will turn faster towards me, turn, turn towards me. Like you see, I, I don't have much control. And plus my chest goes away from his back. I prefer to control this side, okay? Because I have better control, okay? And I go as a seabell here, and he's gonna try to go. I look, I hide my leg, tripod, hop over, keeping my left foot. I just hop over with my right foot, my right leg. My left foot is the first one. Once I'm here, look, I control, okay? And he's like defending. I go step one, I sit up, look, and I go here. In the middle of uh, this uh, technique, he's gonna try to face to me, okay? I just keep my chest behind his shoulder, and I choke him here, okay? If your opponent step over your leg, let's say you're too late, I'm here, you step over my leg, okay? Like this. Of course, right now I cannot take his back, okay? So what I like to do, I control, I control his, his wrist right here, okay? And what I do, I kick my right leg forward, okay? So I go here and I kick my right leg forward. Now I change. You gotta turn to me, look, I go. Okay, same thing. Control, if I can find the collar here, great. If I cannot, okay, you keep controlling. Then you try to go for the Ezekiel. Okay, so you gotta dig your hand under his neck. See that I, I grab his wrist here first. When you step over, I cannot just kick my leg because when I kick, he's gonna control my leg here. You see, now I cannot go around him. Okay, you step over. So that's why I grab the wrist. Okay, try to grab my hand so he can't grab. Even if I don't have the seatbelt, go ahead and try to turn to me, look. I can still have a good control, but I need to set up the seatbelt in the middle of the row. Okay. So, sometimes it's gonna trap your leg, turn around and trap the leg, and then he's gonna put the hip on the floor, like this, exactly, okay? So now it's hard for me to, to keep on his back, okay? I control his wrist again, still, okay? So he doesn't control my legs, and I go here, look. Okay, so I use my free leg to kick the leg that's trapped. You can do other things here, but you're gonna kinda like, uh, let go of the back. Let's say if he's doing this, just trap my leg, don't fall. I can, I can kind of like roll and start like attacking the leg like this, you know, like going for knee bars, okay? But I, I'll kind of give up on taking his back, okay? But you can do that too, okay? Let's say if I'm winning by a lot of points, I feel he's dead, he's tired, I can just try to do it, okay? But if I feel like, oh, it's a must for me to take his back, right? I prefer to like release my leg and then be ready to attack the back, okay? And notice that mm -hmm. this leg right here, okay? You cannot let him control at all, okay? So this leg is always moving around so he can be between your legs. So sometimes we work on this type of back take as well, like trapping like this, because I'm gonna set up the bottom hook first, okay? But in any circumstance, you cannot let this leg be trapped. Try to trap my leg and I hide my leg. Trap my leg, grab my leg, so look. You see? Okay. Well, Professor, if, uh, if my opponent uh, grab this leg right here, turn, turn, turn and grab. Like, it's great because when I get on his back, I'll trap his arm, you know? 
So he is going to be in trouble right now. So it's going to be so easy for me to, to go for a rear naked choke or start getting the collar. So we're going to work on this technique where he's going to try to face to you and you're going to follow the back. And then we're going to do specific sparring, okay, from the back afterwards. And you're going to work on not letting your opponent recover in the guard. So our goal is to be on the back. We're not going to make exchange to side control. We want to take the back, okay? So um, if he's facing away from me, face away from me. And go. Look, I need to use my weight on him. If you put the neck, the back of his neck, okay, on the floor, like this, it's gonna be hard for me to, to take his back because look how far is his, his back from my chest, okay? That's not good for me. So that's why when you hear, okay, if your opponent's trying to do that, go in. I like to grab here, that's good. When I feel like, let's say I'm here and I feel my opponent's trying to roll, I change here. Go, roll. Okay, so I keep, like, I keep. His uh, neck near my chest, okay? So I don't let him go far from me, okay? So, and right here, I can start getting the Ezekiel, okay? Right there. When you start rolling like this, turn around. Go, he's gonna go like this. Look, I can start like digging my hand in. Go, roll, roll, roll. No, roll, roll. I can start digging my hand and then grab here. And now with the Ezekiel uh, set up, I can jump and bring it to my left, okay? So it's really hard for him to escape, okay? So facing towards me, I need to hide my leg, okay? And hop over. Facing away from me, I need to keep him close by controlling here, okay? Let's say he goes really fast, go fast here, like this, I go here. I can even like start digging my hand right now, like one, and then two. It's gonna make super hard for him to roll, okay? As long as you keep this arm here on your neck, not letting him face to you all the way, you're good. So you gotta keep your chest right behind his shoulder the whole time. I like to use my elbow on the floor here so I can jump to take his back. So I can jump and bring him to my lap. Like this, okay? Of course, there is other ways for you to, to take the back, okay? Um, you can use all during this specific training, but that's how we're gonna train right now, okay? So first you start in the turtle position, just drilling the techniques, okay? And afterwards, we're gonna drill more in uh, motion, okay? Where it's gonna be like more set up and so any situation, I can uh, single leg, boom, take him down, boom, run to his back, he's gonna turtle. And then I get up here for the charge face to me, and he's gonna try to face to me. Well, so I'll take his back. And then go back and forth like this, okay? So first part, turtle. Second part, motion. Third part, specific sparring. And then after that, rolls. You got it? That's it, that's the only technique. You guys have any question about the technique? Any, anything like you, you have trouble to take the back? Anything that happened when you were attacking the back? You wanna ask right now? No? All right, let's work, let's go. One, two, three. Okay.